Hi, Blake. Bruce Robinson here from the Fathering Project. Uh, this is Men's Health Awareness Month, and as a doctor, uh, there's a couple of things I'd really love to say to you. I don't know if you know this, but most of the diseases that Australians die of are more common in men. Heart disease, uh, all sorts of things. Um, and yet, we're the least likely to go to the doctor, least likely to focus on our health. And I've thought about that a lot, because I get told off by my wife for not getting on and getting checked up. Um, and I don't know whether it's something to do with our Y chromosome. Uh, maybe, um, you know, soldiers have to, uh, it's just a flesh wound. Fight on and she'll be right. Guts and determination. But to be honest, it doesn't really help. If you've got high blood pressure, it does damage before you actually get it checked. So if you get, it, get checked early, the blood pressure doesn't bang away at your blood vessels and cause heart disease and strokes. Simple as that. If you get your prostate checked regularly, then by the time, if you do get prostate cancer, it's not advanced. So it's sort of obvious, but I'm going to say it again, really important that we pay attention to our, our health. There's lots of tips I could give guys, but um, I guess uh, just a couple before we give our list. One is exercise. Uh, honestly, exercise is so important for both your physical and mental health. And the other one, which is like kind of the opposite of exercise, is to stop. To stop. Actually stop. And I've thought about this a lot. Uh, lately, we were up north camping and we uh, campfires, and I, I hardly ever stop, honestly. But I could look into the campfire for one hour, a whole hour, I just stare at the flames. And I, it was like a drug, it was therapy. And I love going to the beach, getting a coffee and just staring at the waves. I do that much more now, but hey, there was a time when I just let work and everything else just take hold of me. I mean, it's a typical bloke. So I learned to stop. And it's a, it's, there's a theory called margin theory that in the past, men always had time to stop and recover their energy. When you're waiting for a train or a bus or even a lift, but now I've got the phone out and we're checking things. So every time you stopped in the past, your sort of body molecules would recover, like running a 100 meter sprint and then stopping and then doing it again. But now, they're the margins in our lives, but now we fill them up with emailing and texting and phoning and all that sort of stuff, so our energy levels and our molecules in our body go down, down, down. And that's why we feel so exhausted at night and struggle to, for our body to recover. Anyway, so exercise and rest. Rest that really helps you. Anyway, let me give you some specific tips for Men's Health Awareness Month. The first tip is to schedule regular checkups with your GP. Someone challenged me because I was telling them that they should do it, and they said, well, you, do you do it? So I started to do it when actually my child, oldest child was still at primary school, even if you feel okay. Secondly, your GP is a great go-to person. If you're not feeling right, you're just, just something wrong, go to your GP and check. The third one, coming back to the word exercise, and it may just be a walk with your partner, your kids along the beach, Find some exercise you can do. We're not talking now about becoming an Olympic athlete. We're talking about regular exercise. Preferably outside, but not necessarily. Regular exercise, get your heart rate going. Final tip is, just to repeat, find opportunities to create a break in your life. And that might be during your working day. Get outside. When you get a coffee, don't take your phone and can keep working. Sit there, look at the blue sky, take a break. So blokes, thanks for listening to, as we talk about your health. Obviously it matters to me as a doctor that you do these things to stay healthy, but it matters so much to your family that you remain healthy and you have that vitality of health. So uh, please, please, please do the things that we've suggested. I beg you, and we'll talk to you again soon.